Merch has gotten too expensive. I understand that in the past, there was like a presidential candidate that ran on the single issue platform of the rent is too dang high, too damn high, but I don't want to swear in the first seconds of the video. Excuse me, excuse me. Somebody get a bar of soap to wash out my mouth with. By the way, I would vote for that candidate. I, I mean, I don't know. If you ran with the, with the premise of like the rent is too dang high, I just have to vet you to make sure all your other positions are not like, yeah, and we get the aliens too. You know what I mean? Just, but... It's, it's a good position to have. I agree. The rent's absolutely astronomical. Um, but merch. When did merch become too expensive? Beth and I were walking around in an anime goods store. We saw an acrylic stand of a Hololive VTuber that, that we both like. I say we both like to shield myself. It's mostly me. Oh, Yi Sung, who's your Hololive Oshi? I don't have to tell you, okay? This is not a deposition. My lawyer is not president. And it's Fauna. Of course it's Fauna. Why would it be anyone else? Crosslord maybe with the Yakuman? Okay. It's not like I wanted to play this game anyway. I mean, I don't even want to deal in with the... I don't want to... What? Okay, I, I might have to start folding right now. I might I might genuinely have to start folding. Oh, you sound really glad I clicked onto this epic thumbnail. Mmm, the epic memes. Y your thumbnail pog face was so good. And now you're folding? Yeah, but just... I'm telling you right now... Turkey boom, good tidings. I'm telling you right now, 15 minutes from now, we're going to get a Yakuman. I'm calling my shot. Babe Ruth pointing to the outfield. Yakuman Gaming. But why are our acrylic stands thirty dollars? They are they definitely look, I am no economist, but they definitely do not cost thirty dollars to make. They cost five dollars to make. I don't I simply do not understand why merch is so expensive these days. I mean, I suppose everything is too expensive. You know what I mean? I suppose genuinely everything is too expensive. Can I even throw this Nolan Northwind? Oh, okay, a cross -third. Do you have a Yakuman? Oh my god, I um, my heart stopped for a second. My heart genuinely stopped for a second. I mean, that's a good thumbnail shot for sure. It's a good that's a good thumbnail shot. At least we're not sitting in Right Lord's dealer seat. Of course you don't want to see that. A crosslord sitting extremely pretty in East One with a banger of a hand right now. But anyway. I, I just think that I just think that the anime stuff is way too expensive. But we did also see like I'm a sucker for stuff. Like we saw a stuffed Fue Coco Pokemon plush, and I was like, holy smokes! How do I refinance my entire life such that I can afford this Fue Coco plush? This seems amazing. We also saw this League of Legends character. It was like this extremely ornate League of Legends um, figurine for Elementalist Lux the 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 skin for elementalist lux and i was like oh that's so nice i could spend 356 dollars for a figurine of elementalist lux to remind me of when teenagers were saying extremely rude things to me while i was playing league of legends oh to be bullied by teenagers while playing league oh thank you so oh i love oh i love being reminded oh thank you so much jerboa good tidings good tidings i mean plushies are cool plushies are definitely cool um, I've always said this, and I and this might this might offend some people, but I've always said this. Plushies make my blood rushies. Beth is laughing from the other room. The pie piece, good tidings. I mean, I, I, that's just true. I don't know what you want me to tell you. You saying is that a joke? No, it's a poignant. It's a poignant universal fact. Yo, can I tell you something else that I said that was also very like so true? I, I came up with possibly the best mnemonic device you've ever heard in your entire life, okay? So Beth and I, last night, we were parked in a big parking structure. And it, we were row A, P, level P3. Row A, level P3. And we were like, how do we remember this? Ah, how do we remember this? Take a photo? No, 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 too easy. Here is how we remembered it. And I came up with this, okay? And I'm not asking you to call me a modern day Einstein, but like consider it for a second. Here we go. Row, row, row a boat, row a boat, gently down P3. Yup, yup. You can pick your jaw up from off the floor. 
seven up all my ap threes gone so true so true yup <laughs> okay i this community is good we don't have to burn it down to the ground anymore <laughs> man this stream this stream really hit both sides of the emotional spectrum right here okay Ravioli Sumo, I bought a big Snoopy plush at Universal Studios. Yo, Beth got her mom a card that had the um, Woodstock character from Snoopy. That's the little bird, right, from Snoopy. And because um, Beth's mom really likes Snoopy. And, and so Beth got her mom this card for Mother's Day. And at dinner, we were with her family, extended family, right? And you could like pull a tab or something and then Woodstock would 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 pop out of the tab and be like, hello. Like it's like, oh, the, the paper is like, I'm going to give you a hug. You know, it was it was an absolute hit, folks. It was an absolute hit. I don't know what I'm discarding here. I, I, I genuinely have no idea how this hand wins. I This hand is an absolute gosh dang disaster right now. Everyone at the table wanted a turn with the with a nice hallmark card that beth got it was an absolute delight how do you feel about i i feel like those gimmick cards honestly they do the trick other cool cards include scratch and sniffs do you think that's safe i don't know i don't know why i'm like are scratch and sniff cards killing me but i do think that scratch and sniff cards are really really fun you know what i mean Hopefully it's not like a gateway drug, you know what I mean? Like first first you're scratching, then you're sniffing, then you're snorting, you know what I mean? Hopefully it doesn't encourage kids to, to do bad stuff. But I remember as a kid, I loved scratching and sniffing, you know what I mean? Oh, you sung, you must have a musk kink? Get out of here, you get out of here. This is not that kind of a stream, folks. Apple's dragon, good tidings. No one was saying that but me. Yeah, I know, but I'm scared. I'm scared of other people saying it to me. It's anyone's game. Right Lord and across, or excuse me, across Lord and Right Lord have been swapping points. It's fine. It's anyone's game right now. This is a banger. This is a banger of a hand. They called the bond and drown the whole land. He has a musk kink that he calls it X. It's really sad. Like whenever someone actually calls it X, and maybe one day I'll start calling it X, but that's just like sad. Do you know what I mean? It it, it, it it does not deserve to be made fun of. It deserves a solemn like, oh, we lost another one. You know, that's genuinely how I feel about people who call it X. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Why is this hand a, a banger? Why is this hand an absolute a slapper right now? Are we in Tempai? Is this Tempai? It's like so close to being in Tempai. What do we want to draw? I mean, the, the nuts draw? Dude, I'll take that, right? It's a double pair weight. This is the story of a pawn. They called the Ricci and drowned the whole world. Okay, sorry, sorry. But Ricci, red five, red five. Ricci, Aka, Aka. I'm going Aka, excuse me, folks. This is a three on hand that feels all right. Now, if you're not going to give me the tiles that I require, Four of bamboo, five of bamboo. Can we at least draw and discard a seven of bamboo? Seven of bamboo would allow us to set an inadvertent suji trap. And I and I cannot wait to slurp the carcasses. Slurp from the carcasses of all three opponents here at this table. It's a sick Ricci. Jerboa, thank you. Thank you. I greatly appreciate it. If I could anime merch beanbag. I need a beanbag chair. It's never going to happen because I always do this. I'm very... You know, I, you know how I, I just like I take my time with big furniture decisions and you're like you sung it's a beanbag chair I know but I like I wanted to tie the room together. Oh my god, but that's true. You know what I mean? Oh, I'm so sorry officer if wanting if 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 having a hard time finding a comfy beanbag chair because I want the beanbag chair to tie the whole room together is a crime lock me up lock me up right now didn't realize this was literally 1984. Didn't realize I was being accused and jailed because of thought crime. Thought crime. What am I posting? Thirst traps on the internet? Hey! This is a serious discussion. There's no time for jokes. But yeah, I think next week... And, I, and this is how you know I'm serious, okay? This is how you know I'm serious. You have my word on it, okay? Next week, I will seriously and earnestly start exploring, starting on Wednesday, IKEA desks. Why? Because we hear that some of the desktops that I might be liking are coming back into stock. Oh, I'm thinking we're back. 
I'm thinking that the Burkant desktop with the friendly rounded corners has never been less Jover than it is right now. We're in Ikea, okay? We're in those department store guts eating the meatballs. Why am I such a weirdo? Don't! It doesn't even matter. You got any info on a good L-shaped de desk? Why? Because you're trying to insinuate that I'm catching L's? So that the shape of a desk could could help me catch L's? Perchance? I don't really like the idea of an L-shaped desk. I don't know. Just the way that it's in this room right now. There's like a good two or three feet of space to the left of the desk that could... Like a, a like a beanbag chair would go unbelievably hard there. All right, me and Right Lord, Right Lord and I, we're, we're tangoing with death right now. That's fine. Two Regi sticks left over from the night before. Now, don't know if you understand the assignment, folks. Oh, he understood the assignment. Ten times that Joe Biden absolutely ate on Twitter. Time number one, he posted himself with sunglasses. Um, the assignment right now is not just to win with a glorious hand, but to win with a any hand any hand here goes incredibly hard because not only do we win the hand we get to pick up both reachy sticks for an extra 2000 points that's not nothing you're going to scoff at 2000 points do you have any good info on a w shaped desk deviants thank you for asking i don't and and also a w shaped desk um i uh uh probably not very ergonomically sound but I appreciate what you're trying to insinuate. That I'm catching so many dubs over here that my desk also needs to be in the shape of one to help. I need to utilize a whole ass corner. I mean, it's nice if you can get it into a corner. It's absolutely nice. But I kind of like, kind of not, this is too morbid of a phrase to use, but I kind of dug my own grave here because I made this frame look really nice. Plant, fake plant, Kirby plush. A uh, little painting, odd taxi poster, an anime that, a uh, poster that Beth got me because we watched the anime together and we both really liked it. Um, this looks really nice. If I ever move this desk, I am omega screwed, okay? There's no other angle in this room that even looks remotely as nice and I wouldn't know how to handle that. Like, I think I would start have to using, like, I start have to use a green screen or something, you know? And don't get me wrong, I like the aesthetic of that, but I just don't want to be a green screen Gary, you know? I think that it's kind of annoying, and I know maybe I'm complaining about spilled milk or something, but I think it's annoying to have to have a green screen on and off the whole time. Hey, why was the green screen operator? Oh, no, hang on. This is a good joke. This is a good joke. If you're driving right now, pull the F over. This is a great joke. You're gonna, you're gonna lose your socks over this one, okay? Your socks are gonna get rocked with this one. Why was the green screen um, always getting involved in interpersonal drama? Because the green screen was always green with jealousy. Yeah. Yeah. You sung, what is it like to redefine comedy? Oh, please, please. I put on my pants one leg at a time, just like everybody else. Bravo. Thank you. Yukiona, thank you. ZYX, good tidings. And now what do I do? I'm going to give you five encore jokes. Like I'm a pianist who, who maybe doesn't understand that some people in their audience need to go home right now. Lil Wage, good tidings. All greens with jealousy. So true. Right Lord is starting to have like really terrifying discards. So does Left Lord. Left Lord could be having a flush in the... Um, oh, okay. I hate that. Absolutely hate that. Now, what do I do here? What do I do here? This is a sick fold. Oh my god, are you seeing this right now? Instead of just folding with the with the character tiles, we can throw the six of bamboo, and now we can probably throw the five of bamboo because it's inside Suji, right? They've discarded an eight. I know that they can't have a six, seven in their hand. They discarded a two. I know that they can't have a three, four in their hand. Five is most likely safe. They could have a pair, don't get me wrong, but that's not very likely. Um, and so I think we can go for it. I think we can go for it. And now if we draw into a four of circles, we have a nasty little chasing Ricci that we are, we are able to call folks. And isn't that delightful? Isn't it beginning to look a lot like Christmas where in this society, instead of celebrating Christmas cheer, we celebrate emotional devastation, folks. Many people are saying this. Chibli Ripley Olivia Munn. Chocolate milk or strawberry milk? 
Mocha X Macha, you, you're looking to get me in trouble. This is some. I mean, you shouldn't talk. You shouldn't talk about politics. That's what they tell you day one of being live on Twitch.tv. Shouldn't get into any hot water by talking about you know spicy, spicy political takes, if you will. I'm going to fold here. Unfortunately, I know we're in the dealer seat. I know we're in the dealer seat. I don't think this hand has enough time to get into the end zone, folks. Four dials left, and we might have to discard something spicy to get there. I do not think so. Evangelion 1.3.1. We do not get into temp by here. This is a little bit risky, but I think it's our, our safest bet right now, all things considered. I don't throw the Northern Northwind here. Why? Because I'm a cautious uh, Christopher. Absolutely a cautious Christopher. And now, do you understand the assignment? Three Rachy sticks from the night before. The aim of this game, again, the aim of this round is not to win with a gigantic hand. And with this starting, these starting tiles, we are not going to win with a gigantic starting hand. But instead, it's just to win with a one Han hand. Anything here goes. Like where um, Gwyneth, Gwyneth Paltrow? No. Like where, like where a famous movie musical. Who, who, who is that famous actress that's in Anything Goes? And then, and then and she's in like a lot of musicals and stuff. And her name kind of sounds like Gwyneth Paltrow, but it's not Gwyneth Paltrow. This is where Northern Lion skills would really come in handy. Careening into South One. No one's taken a giant lead yet. Sutton Foster. Thank you so much. Hey, why did the musical theater fan like indie rock? Why did the musical theater fan like indie rock so much because they really got into Sutton Foster the people oh these other kids with their intermissions you better overture recapitulation of the theme <laughs> Beth laughing from the other room we did it <laughs> we did it What was cool about hearing Chopin ballads performed live, though, was genuinely you could hear the influence of Chopin on Kingdom Hearts music. Genuinely, genuinely, that was a very that was a very cool, cool moment to to witness. Like, oh yeah, this is like this is absolutely what they were cooking in Kingdom Hearts as well. You know, the the, the flavors like this was obviously inspired by this. This was in, inspired by this. When you're fighting on on destiny islands and you're fighting dark side for the first time this is what you're hearing low grumbling themes in the left hand and the lower registers followed by vast arpeggios in the right hand because we're because we're cooking right now r.i.p sunshooks i know we had a chance at a one two three sunshooks but but <coughs> here's the thing about sunshooks i don't give two shakes for sunshooks sorry to offend anyone here but again white dragon only hand nets us you know a 1,000 point hand plus 3,000 plus 600 here. We're going to the effing moon here, folks. Don't know how to tell you this, but we're going to the effing moon here. Yoko Shimamura, the queen. No, absolutely. Absolutely queen status. Good joke, and we have five more. Wouldn't you prefer that I put the five jokes just on the program? I genuinely think we would be living in a utopia. And there it is, folks. Sun Foster D's nuts. Sorry, that's just inappropriate. Doesn't make any sense and is inappropriate. I'm just ecstatic right now that I've made it into Tenpai, folks. And not only that, we have a very, we can win on a very inconspicuous tile. The nine of circles. Please, folks, the power of organized prayer. We can win on the nine of circles. We just need someone to discard it. And suddenly we, we've t we, we might be able to take a very small but meaningful lead here in South One, as I like to call it, South Fun. Blessed by God, spoiled by grandma, protected by both. There's no way we lose this one. Okay, we might. Okay, okay. Turns out, turns out, Grandma is maybe taking a nap right now. We might not be getting as protected as one needs to be to navigate the murky waters of Richie Mahjong. Oh, please, Nine of Circles is looking out, looking very safe. But who needs it when we can just draw our winning tile ourselves? So check this out: eleven hundred points. It's gonna, it's gonna become forty-seven hundred points. Oh, quick maths as well. 
Holy smokes. We are so back. It is not Jover, folks. It is not Jover. We are in there. We are in there. Grandma is right, Lord. <laughs> and Zendaya is Michi. Grandma is right, Lord. Danny Dovey Toe is dealer. I also need to tell you something. I don't know. Maybe this is going to be disappointing. But I've been writing a lot of Richie Mahjong song parodies lately. You know where I've been getting my most inspiration from? And this is messed up. I don't know if I'm still going to have your respect after this. Oh, I never had it? Oh, okay. Thanks. I've been getting a lot of inspiration from the Glee soundtrack. The, the soundtrack to the TV show Glee. Now, did I watch Glee back in the day? Yeah, like only the first season or three. <laughs> What can you say? We we are who we are. We we were we were all young once. You know what I mean? We we all made mistakes. We all made mistakes. But here's the thing about the Glee covers, folks. They because the Mahjong song parodies rely on me finding. Oh, okay. Suddenly the sand is a, a monster if we draw into seven of circles. Are we even in Tempai if we do that? I'm not sure if we are. Which is woo. Okay. Um, disgusting, nasty hand right now. Just an absolute nasty. What happened here? What happened here, folks? Any tile in the bamboo suit gets us into Tempai. Holy moly. Goosebumps when you mention Glee. Da, 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 da. It's the don't stop believing. Genuine, genuine flashbacks, right? Um, we slam the Richie here no matter what. Please. Okay, what do we even throw here? What do we Henry David Thoreau? That's gotta be, that's gotta, toy spiritual sequence! Whoa! Oh, in 15 minutes, we're gonna get a Yakuman, and guess what? Now it is 15 minutes later. And there it is. Show me the monies. Show me that six of bamboo, friends. Oh, he is amped, folks. He is ready. He is hyped up. He has been drinking too many energy beverages. So calm. He's still under an influence right now. Twice pure double sequence. Put, let me put that on the thumbnail, okay? Don't make me have to write out the words twice pure double sequence. I'm going to take this. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I got to take this. Reggie Pinfu Tonyo Red 5 pure double sequence. Show me Aura Door as well. Oh! Don't stop believing. Hold on to that feeling. Mon guns. Six sons and some more. Ah. And there it is, folks. And there it is, folks. If I did not drink the CBD beverage from earlier, uh, my nose would have started bleeding there. God, I love when I have this stream on very quietly in the background during work and all I hear is you sung screaming. <laughs> I mean, I'm honored. I'm honored. I'm genuinely honored I could be a part of your workday in that manner. Genuinely. That that brings me that brings me a lot of brings me a lot of joy. Um, what do I do? So here's the weird thing about this hand, okay? It's weird, it's kind of quirky, it's kind of adorkable. Who are we? Zoe De Chanel in a leading role? What do we do here? We uh we don't pawn the white dragon if it comes out. Okay, that makes things incredibly awkward too. Cause now you're now you're gonna try to make me act up. You're gonna make me try to slide in those DMs. Haha, you're so cute, haha. But we don't actually want to haha, you're so cute, haha. What we want is just to be able to win this hand with like a nothing hand, right? We want to be able to move us into South Four, or pardon the French, schmove us into South Four without getting a scratch all over our new. Our new car. Yo, speaking of new cars, Beth got a new car. Holy smokes. It's got features in it, okay? It's got features in it. Like a like a like a Kendrick Lamar single. Oh, it's got some features in it, okay? When you back up and like you're parallel parking, the rear view mirrors tilt downwards. It's like when I deal into some bad Richi Mahjong hands, I start to tilt downwards. Dude, this car is also tilting downwards. It's magical. It's magical. Y'all got features? It's got Apple Play or whatever. 
So it just, you know, you can you can plug your phone in and suddenly the navigation just works like a charm. Should I just fold here? I mean, this unit is kind of, it's White Dragon, Red 5, Dora, but like, is it though? It doesn't really ever get to that point. I think what would make this hand spicy is if we cheat into a three of characters. That is the only way where I'm like, oh, okay. A little sriracha on these steamed vegetables makes it palatable. Getting a new car is finding out everything that they've added to cars in the last decade. I genuinely, I could not believe the feature bloat that, or just like the power creep that they've been adding to cars. There's so many like safety features as well. Like my, my rear view, my blind spot monitors, I have like a little light that comes on, but her blind spot monitors, holy moly, they have like a loud sound. They're just, they just feel more responsive and helpful and, uh, and actually alerting. It's got a CD player. Unfortunately, no CD player, but I'm cooking up, I'm cooking up some Spotify playlists on the regular. You know what I mean? Someone's in temp by here. Left Lord has cheated probably open their opening their hand for some kind of zuzzy little tanya or something do i chi here a tribe called quest do i do i chi do i pawn it i mean the two of characters is probably looking like our pair so cheating into a two of characters or a five of characters is kind of interesting eight of characters was literally just thrown and i think left lord didn't switch up their hands so i think eight of characters is actually a beef safe enough tile Remember, Bashy, remember when people didn't like the fact that people were adding seatbelts to cars? What's next? I'm going to need a, a license to toast my own damn toast and my toaster? No, for sure. Definitely people, people are hesitant to change. But don't get me wrong. I think some aspects of change, not all change is good. Recently, I saw a cyber truck. <laughs> you know, that was a little ox sauce. Not going to lie. I've only been driving for a little bit more than a decade and I've gone through six cars because I always buy cheap shitters, but I love them. Honestly, whatever, like, whatever floats the boat right now, because cars are holy moly. I don't know how this is possible, but the prices of used cars have gone up. Like, no, they're, they're used. Like, do, do I need to go in and talk to some people? Like, you understand that these are used cars, right? I'm not saying that they're bad. Of course not. The value proposition on a used car is heckin' awesome if you can find a good deal or whatever. But at the same time, it's like, how how have, how have the prices... You expect me to be able to afford a car when I'm paying $30 for a Ceres Fauna acrylic stand? Excuse you. That doesn't happen. Anime goods are too expensive and car stuff is too expensive. Cars are too expensive now. How am I supposed to buy anime goods? It's like that drill tweet. Please help. My family is starving. Stop buying candles. I can't. I can't stop buying candles. I mean, we didn't buy any of the anime goods, but every every single time. Like, is there a franchise that you walk past and you're just like, God damn it. You know what I mean? Every time we walk past a Spy Family merch stand. Oh, my God. Like. Like, it genuinely pains my soul to not buy anything. I know I'm such a weak little consumer, but look at this. Look at how determined she is. Look at how determined she is. Doesn't that inspire you? It genuinely inspires me. And then we, and then we saw, like, at a, like, we saw, like, a figurine of, of Anya from Spy Family. And she was in her sports gear and she had a tennis racket. And we were like, ah! So freaking cute! It was so unbelievably cute, folks. So unbelievable cute. So this is a weirdo situation where we could have three, three, four, five. I, I mean, I don't know. Where we could have pure straight or we could have just a seat wind prevalent wind. Both both situations are beef good enough for me. Vrylord is going to call a Richie. I mean, I don't necessarily hate the idea of pushing here because we don't have a lot of safe tiles. But Left Lord, wowzers. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wowzers. They're going to push for it. Maybe we can just fold here because one of you guys is one of you guys is over here is, is gonna win. I kind of just want to move, B. Get out the way. Get out the way, B. Get out the way. You know, it'd be kind of kind of be nice with it. Not gonna lie. Oh, dude, I know absolutely. A lot of the cyber trucks were 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 you know faced with heavy recalls as well. 
Hey, hey, uh, all the, uh, all the, uh, cyber trucks calling recall. What are they doing? Pressing B in Summoner's Rift? Okay, I'm so sorry. I cut away from the action for that. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, I've just received confirmation that the cameraman has been fired. I've received confirmation that the camera person has been fired. A crosslord, do not give up. Do not relinquish yourself into that good night. You can win this game. You can, okay, thank goodness. Thank goodness. You started this game off with three little dragons. You you do not have to surrender right now. Tesla can suck eggs. No, absolutely. I will say though, several several people that we do know as members of our extended family do happen to drive. The the one that shall be named shall not be named. Tesla cars and, and so Beth and I are like okay we hope all of them fail except for the ones that our extended family members might be in because I don't know we don't talk to them that much but we don't necessarily want anything bad to have it's like you know it's hard to explain to like a aunt or an uncle like hey you know like apartheid you know you know what I mean that's like a hard don't get me wrong it's a v valiant effort it's always worth the effort to put in sometimes it just does not work it sometimes it just does not work. South three, we're sitting in first place. Would like to keep this game moving along like we're the all American rejects. Not gonna lie to you there. I mean, we're one tile away from Tempai. Is it good? No, unfortunately, it's actually really, really bad. How do we improve this hand? I have no idea, folks. I genuinely have no idea. There's another four? Maybe we could have kept that and thrown the nine, but we're, we're a long ways away from Tanya dreaming. Yeah, exactly. Just not while the extended family's involved, but if they, if they could, if they could fail, you know, that's, that's okay. It's okay. Maybe, maybe politically the world would be in a slightly more, slightly better place, you know? I will say, I don't, I don't necessarily hate the, the idea of never having to go to a gas station ever again, but like, have you considered the benefits of going to a gas station? You're literally two steps away from buying and eating the greatest Costco hot dog you've ever had in your entire life. Is that so bad? I, I plead to you, the, the open auditorium in which I stand, I plead with everyone here today. Is that so bad? You know what I mean? Okay, what do we want to see here? We want to see a seven of characters. I mean, two, one has already been thrown. I, I don't, two have already been thrown! I really don't like that. It's really unlikely that we get a seven of characters now, but if we do, we have a nice little Suji trap, right? We call Richie on the five. They think I'm not waiting with a six, seven. Of course I'm not. I have something much, much worse in my hand. So that's that's something interesting to consider as well. This, I cannot, folks, I cannot in good faith call a Richie on this. And yet I will, because we have the Suji trap. I don't, I don't know, I don't know. If people are paying attention to the lag that occurs, like the fact that every time a seven of characters has come out, someone is thinking about something, then maybe no one's going to deal into me. But I mean, if this is a fairly decent situation for someone else to push with a with a seven of characters, I think. I've thrown two four of characters. If we're going to trap someone, if we're going to snare someone here on this on this little mouse trap of psychological warfare that we're we're engaged in, this is that situation, folks. This is that situation. Don't they have chargers at Costco too? Oh, I'm sure they do. Never really, never really seen them, but because I because I never really have to notice them. But yeah, getting snacks at a gas station, getting pizza from Costco, dude. Costco, not this is not sponsored content by the way, um, but they they have big chocolate chip cookies now. It's it's unbelievable. It is unbelievable. It is a cookie that is so large that you could. Like, I'm a, I'm a size king now, you know? This cookie is so large, you could lose yourself and then re-find yourself in this cookie. Not all those who wander are lost. And it's warm too, oh my God. Catch me moaning in ecstasy, eating in the Costco food court. It's so good, it's so good. Riddle me this, your honor. Gas station slushy. Lavender Lele. That is so unbelievably effing funny. I think more lawyers need to go in the courtroom and say, Riddle me this, jury. Why do we park on a driveway and drive on a parkway? Mm, I rest you my case. I just think saying riddle me this is very affable. I think saying riddle me this is very charming. 
How did we not? How did we not get into? Oh, Sebastian the crab. Oh, Sebastian the crab. Oh, Sebastian the crab. Oh, it is anyone's game now. Oh, it is anyone's game. Left Lord running the table right now. But this hand is the hand that I understand. This hand gets us back in it. Kind of. Maybe. Sort of. Amon gone out of nowhere. Under the sea, bringing the absolute heat right now. Sebastian the crab. Showing the whole table why you should always fear the crustaceans in your life. Pawning there is not bad at all. And now there's some doom and gloom at the table. Is there not, Your Honor? Riddle me this. Why, for other people, is it only prevalent wind? But for me, it's sea wind and prevalent wind. This is a great situation to be in. One, so one of these is going to be our pair. But the other one is going to be our uh, sequence. We love that. We keep the seven of circles as a safe little tile. Lovely alliteration in that sentence as well. I have to haphazardly throw the door here. But again, sometimes you have to engage in a little bit of calculated evil in order to uh, destroy your opponents, folks. Sometimes you have to engage in a little bit of calculated evil right now. Turkey boom, not sure uh, Not sure if I've hit you with the good tidings, but good tidings. I know that I would like the Ace Attorney games. You're talking to a guy that spent most of my childhood in Model UN doing the mock trial uh, committees there. Of course I would love Ace Attorney. Hey, why did the lawyer play tennis so well? Oh, because they, they, were, they were getting Ace Attorneys. Hey, why did the lawyer, um, why did the lawyer have such an easy time getting home? Because they love to ace a turnkey. And we're gaming, folks. And we're gaming. It's electric right now. The atmosphere. It, the, the atmosphere in the room that I'm sitting in the chat right now. Everything. The, the stadium is a buzz with life, folks. We don't know... This is this is an incredible sequence of events. Blue Penguin, good tidings. I just got here. You just came at the greatest part of the stream. I'm not going to lie to you. Not even a little bit. Across Lord, I need you to please draw into and discard another nine of characters. This would be a tragic hand to lose right now. I'm not going to lie to you. This hand, Sea Wind, Prevalent Wind. And we get a chance to stop... Um, a cross lord in their tracks and we get to take the dealer seat away from left lord this would be a wonderful situation folks here we go you know we beth and i have a friend well she's beth's friend really but they're in law school and it's always fascinating to hear people talk about the law and i know like like because they actually know what they're talking about apparently this is just something that I didn't know. Oh, thank you, Across Lord. And I, I'm not saying that I support this person whatsoever, but apparently Clarence Thomas wrote a really good opinion on affirmative action. Whether And we cannot talk about this because we are on the internet right now. And this is, I joke around about being like, we can't talk about politics here. Is a hot dog a sandwich? Blah, 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 blah. But we probably shouldn't talk about this. But apparently Clarence Thompson had a great opinion on affirmative action where it was like, oh, okay. Is this affirmative action based on race or is it by like, is it by income? You know, like, it, cause, cause Affirmative actually kind of means a lot less when it's, you know, still all rich people going into the schools. Anyway, hey, is a pizza a hot dog? What's going on here? Bark, bark, bark. I like talking to people who are in law school, though, or like lawyers, because they just they're just all such smart little cookies. You know what I mean? And this is this is a very infantilizing way of saying, like, I just like listening to people who are smarter than me. I, I love listening to people who are smarter than me talk. And it's like you sound you could listen to anyone in the world and you'd be you'd be uh, happier than a pig in mud. Yeah, absolutely. But I like when people can speak with some sort of authority on any given subject. Right. That's a, for some reason, that's just very addictive. Clarence F. Tompkins. Yo, they are they are a great guest on Comedy Bang Bang. Though what a what a lovely uh Clarence F. Tompkins is, is, is a very funny Paul F. Tompkins character. No, no kidding. No kidding. So what do we want to see here? I mean, 
This is a very reachy, pinfuable hand. I'm not going to lie to you there. Left Lord has Green Dragon. I hate to see that, folks. I absolutely hate to see that. One, two, three, four, five. Do I ever dare to dream, folks? Do I ever dare to dream for Tanya? I think I dared to dream for Tanya just to try to kill whatever <gasps> whatever Left Lord is doing right now. Oh, but now it's, things are a little bit awkward. Things are a little bit awkward. I'm not really sure where we're going with, with this hand, folks. Not really sure where we're going. Would just love a, a cute little reachy pinfu, if you will. I mean, we lose by a little or we lose by a lot. It's fine. I think it's very, very unlikely we deal ourselves into um, third place or last, right? If, if Right Lord or a Cross Lord calls a reachy, then we have to be Mondo cautious. A little Mondo cautious action up in here, up in here. Uh, but anything be, be besides that, I think we're fine to just keep pushing, you know? Tanya Juniors. Cake Judge. Haven't I've been I've been really falling behind on my on my comedy podcast listenership, you know? I think for a while because it just it just felt like work it, uh, listening to comedy podcasts and making sure that all the edits were correct when I when I worked as a podcast producer, like it 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 it, 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 it it's it's hard to shake that feeling. Oh. And right, Lord saves the day from me again. They've gotten me in first place. I'm a 10. Oh, we're gaming. I had that entire game in my control the whole time. We are so effing back, folks. We are so effing back. Sphere of light, sphere of honesty. And this is why we reference Clarence, Tom uh, T Clarence Tompkins. Wait, what's his real name? I don't know. Oh, please. No comments about this on YouTube. If you're watching this on YouTube, I will be deleting those comments immediately. We can't. Other other communities are the right places for that discussion. Not here. Here we talk about whether or not a uh, hot dog is a sandwich. And we can reference Foucault's Panopticon. The censorship isn't even that bad. Mom, Welcome to you, Sung's 1984. Pay out the Omega believers.